Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about hematological tests. Means the tests that are mostly we perform in hematology section. So, my name is Muhammad Kamal Khan, and I'm the microbiologist. Let's start the video. Now in this video we are going to talk about <coughs> what is hematology test, what type of the tests that are used in hematology, the principle of uh, all the hematology test, method and procedure that how we perform different tests that are used in hematology, what are the uses means uh, for what purpose we mostly perform the different types of the hematology, te uh, hematology test because uh, there are different tests of the hematology but each of tests are used for special purposes. Then objectives we are going to talk about the requirements means what type of the things we require in hematology test uh, the normal range uh, uh, of the hematology means there are different tests uh, they, they have normal range as well so if the normal range are uh, let's suppose if the value of the uh, hematology are arises means if it is arises from the normal range then it can cause different types of disease so what type of d disease it can cause and when the uh, the value are below from the normal range so what type of the disease we have so we are going to talk about each and everything in detail and one thing more that uh, for what purpose the doctor mostly recommend this uh, different types of the hematology test so we also going to talk about each of the things in detail now let's see that what is hematological test means okay the first we have hematology test now hematology test is actually it is a test or hematological test it is actually a test through which we see different blood cells or we mostly study the blood cells means we see the quantity of the blood we see the quality of the blood quantity of the blood means we see the blood numbers and we see the blood size and shape each and everything we call it hematological uh, we, we call it hematology but uh, their studies called uh, means if we see the normal range of these uh, uh, blood cells and quality and quantity we call it hematological test uh, basically the hematology means the study of the blood uh, for example blood disorder blood shape blood cells size shape etc uh, and hematology mostly include the blood as well as the bone marrow means we better know that uh, blood are mostly releases from the bone marrow so that's why in hematology we also study the bone marrow as well second we have hematopathology it is actually it doesn't mean that we just study about the diseases because we better know that pathology means the study of disease but in this case uh, we talked about the pathological level of the blood it also mean like that but as well as we also see the bone marrow function means the abnormal function of the bone marrow it is also mentioned in the hematopathology then the hematopathology is actually also the study of the organ as well as the tissue that are mostly used for the blood cells production okay means it is involved uh, those organ those tissue that are involved in the blood uh, cells production and that are specially involved to perform the means there are different types of the cells that perform the, their function uh, that are specially uh, released from the organ as well as tissue now let's see that what type of the uh, things that are involved in the hematopathology in hematopathology we mostly study the lymph nodes uh, spleen thymus and lymphoid tissue now these are the different types of the tests that we are going to talk in hematology that's are really really important to know about each of the tests CBC means complete blood count, FBC means full blood count, CBP means complete blood picture or CP complete picture. The doctor sometimes recommends CBC, sometimes they write FBC, sometimes they write CBP, some, sometimes the doctor write CP. So don't be confused in this. All means same. CBC means uh, we want to see the complete picture of the blood, to see the complete blood count okay so we will, we will talk to the complete blood count in detail in upcoming video lecture that's really important then next test we are going to talk about uh, the hemoglobin electroporesis okay after that we will talk the reticulocyte count reticulocyte means immature rbc count then we have sickle cell test uh, iron 
as uh, we mostly see in this case uh, iron because we better know that uh, hemoglobin is made up of iron as well although it is made up of hema and globin protein iron in protein then we are going to talk about osmotic fragility test uh, in which we see the uh, membrane permeability of the uh, rbc and we are going to talk, uh, talk about the malarial test malaria test means malarial parasite like that type of the test which we perform on the blood uh, blood smear we make the blood smear and then we see the malaria parasite we will talk it also in detail coagulation test in which we see bt ct uh, blood clotting time uh, 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 blood uh, bleeding time clotting time prothrombin time all these are mentioned in coagulation test we will talk it in detail combs test in which we talk to direct and indirect comb test blood grouping uh, glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase bone marrow spiration blood film in blood film we mostly see uh, different types of the cells uh, for specially used for the cancer identification sucrose hemolysis test uh, special stain d dimer test uh, fine needle aspiration uh, erythrocyte sedimentation sedimentation rate uh, test so all these uh, there are some other uh, hematology tests as well but these are the most important uh, list of the hematology tests that we are mostly talked in the in the upcoming videos lecture in step by step video lecture okay now uh, the main purpose that why we perform the hematology test uh, we mostly perform this hematology test to just uh, uh, diagnose different types of diseases like uh, we have anemia we have different bacterial infection hemophilia blood clotting uh, disorder and leukemia blood type of the cancer so we mostly if we want to see the uh, disease this type of di disease so we mostly perform the hematology test now uh, hematological mostly they focus on the patient care as well as they also focusing the diagnosis and managing hematological disease especially we have the cancer then uh, we have hematolog uh, hematopathologist that mostly focus on the hematopoietic hematopoietic means the, the production or the synthesis of the rbc and uh, lymphocyte uh, rich uh, uh, tissues uh, where the lymphocytes are specially produced in this case we also uh, you know examine the tissue uh, means we take the tissue or blood and we uh, stain it and proceed it uh, due to which we see the cell structure each and everything in detail so this is all about the principle inshallah in next video lecture we will talk about the uh, cbc or fbc or cbp in detail what type of the test are mentioned in cbc why would the doctor recommend this test for what purpose we perform this test there are different reasons that's why we perform that type of the test so we'll be talking in the next video lecture thank you so much for watching that video